Okay, so in this video today, we are going to be looking at um, how you can go ahead and add additional memory into uh, a QNAP NAS drive. So this one, we've got a TS251 Plus, um, which is a, a Celeron quad-core processor. Um, you can put up to 8 gig of memory into these devices. Uh, they ship, the basic model ships with uh, 2 gig. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off this case, the cover, um, by removing these two screws here. And then we're going to remove the cage inside so that we can get to the memory modules. And we are going to add an additional 2 gig of memory in here. So the first thing we want to do is to remove the case, or the cover of the case I should say. Put our screws somewhere safe. So that's the second one out. And then we're going to remove the drives and we're going to put them somewhere safe so they don't get damaged at all. Like that. So we'll pop those over there. And then we're going to remove the cover which should in theory just slide back which it does like that that lifts off the side and then inside here what we've got um, we can see that there's a memory module under there which is uh, um, a 2 gig module just don't know if you can see it but down there um, but the second memory module slot is behind the cage here so what we've got to do is we've got to uh, remove the cage itself and to do that there's a couple of screws um, on the sides and we're going to take the whole cage out. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo these four screws here, two on this side, two on this side on the cage and then we are going to undo um, there's a, a, a screw on the on the back here that holds this back plate in. So that's the first one we're going to remove. And then the whole of the cage and the back plate should just remove out of the device. So again, you want to make sure you keep your screws safe. So that's the first screw out from there. The next screws that we're going to do is we've got uh, four on this side. So the the um, the screws that are on the uh, further or closer to the edge of the case are actually holding not just the, um, the chassis in but it also holds the motherboard so you don't want to remove those you just want to remove the two inner screws on both sides. Then this whole cage should just now lift off. You've got to make sure that um, the back plate that fits into the slot on the motherboard, you want to make sure that that removes cleanly, which it does. So that's that. And then as you can see here, you can now get to the additional card slot. So in here we've got um, DDR3 memory. This runs at 1600. Um, there's always shipped with a three gig chip. Uh, sorry, with a two gig chip and um, we, we've got additional chips, two gig chips, where we've up upgraded um, previous devices to eight gig. So we've put a kit of four, two four gig sticks in. Um, so this is, uh, we've got plenty of this lying around. So this is what we're gonna use, which is gonna give it another two gig of memory. Uh, it'll only go in one way, so you wanna make sure that it goes in the correct way. Um, it's funny because this slot here with the goes with the sticker up, but the other slot is reversed, so it wants to go with the sticker side down. And it's a bit tricky to get in. We use a small screwdriver to give us a hand on this side here to make sure that it slots in all the way like that, and then it will just push down and lock. So now you can see um, we've got our second memory memory um, so dim installed and the next thing that we want to do I mean that's all there is to it really if you're 
If you're going to be putting 8 gig in here, then obviously you've got to take this one out and populate it with four 2 gig, uh, two 4 gig memory modules. So once that's done, you can then pop the cage back on, but obviously the back plane for the discs sits in this slot here, so you want to make sure that you get that aligned correctly before you push it down. But once it's clicked into place, you can then reattach the four screws. Okay, so once we've got all the uh, all the cage screws reattached, the final um, the final screw is to pop back the screw that holds the cage against the back plate. So we just pop that in there, like so. Make sure everything's done up nice and tight. What we don't want is lots of rattles, so I'm just going to check the, uh, the fan screws here as well. Make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, so the last piece of the jigsaw is to pop the cover back on. So it sits, it sits into place around about an inch back. Um, slot should line up and then that should just push forward into place like that and then the final two screws on the back case will hold that in place and you don't need to do any special configuration at all once you've got your memory installed um, it's just a matter of putting your discs back in the same slots that they came out from which is what we do here like that and then attach it to power and switch it on okay so once you've got the memory installed the next thing that we want to do is log on and we want to double check that it's registered and showing correctly so log into your NAS device There's a couple of places that you can check uh, to see that the additional memory that you've just installed is showing correctly. So the first thing is on the dashboard monitoring system. Um, you can see how much RAM and how much um, memory is in use. Um, so it shows here 25% we're using at the moment. So we click on resource meter. That will then show us our memory usage. And as you can see here, we've now got 3.74 gig usable um, so this was previously under 2 gig because obviously you use it you lose a chunk to the system um, but it shows that we're now running 4 gig of memory and that's how much um, is actually being used at the moment 967 meg um, so we've got plenty of headroom and we are going to be using this for um, set up an installation of um, a Windows domain so we're going to be using the uh, Windows domain controller built into the system so that's all there is to it uh, if you found the video useful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel just like to say thanks for watching